All right, you guys, Mr. Medine here, Mr. M. Uh, we're going to be covering uh, the balance formula. So this is going to be a quick video, you guys, on how do you determine how many electrons can be held within the orbit or the, the balance or the shell of energy, whatever you want to call it, okay? So we're going to be doing valence formula. So valence is an outside covering, okay? So if you guys are into housewares and home decor, right? I, I didn't know that, especially as a 15 year old kid working at a store that had to sell housewares. Somebody asked me for a valence one time and I didn't know what a valence was, but I just kind of looked around and had this customer follow me around the store and she was like, oh, there it is. I'm like, yes, here they are, right? So a valence is an outside covering, right? Ever since then I know. And I know that mauve is a color. I didn't know mauve was a color. I thought it was a, a specific lamp. But anyways, that's a separate story. So the valence formula, so we know that there's different orbiting shells, or they can be, depending on the element, right, the atom. So depending on the atom, you can have different orbiting uh, electrons going around the energies, right? The energies are traveling around the nucleus of the atom. So I'll start off with this. So we have the nucleus that has neutrons and protons. There's gonna be another energy level here. And this one is gonna be the first energy level, and this is the K shell, all right? so. That's the K, and then we have the second one, the second energy level, and that's the L. We have a third one, and that's gonna be M. And then we have a fourth one, and that's gonna be N. And over here we have a fifth one, and that's gonna be O. We have a sixth one, and that's gonna be P. And then we have a seventh one, and that's gonna be Q. And it used to drive me nuts, so that's Q. There's seven energy levels that can be there, okay? It used to drive me nuts, because I'm like, how the heck is K the first level? Well, I did some research, and apparently, this is what I found out, you can fact check it for me, that the person who discovered these energy levels thought they were more ahead of that, and he was just gonna discover more, but then he found out there were no <laughs> other energy levels, so we got stuck with K, and it's always driven me nuts, but that's why K is the first energy level and there's no A, B, C, D, right? So there are seven energy levels total that can be there. So the valence formula says that there's a certain amount of electrons that can be, with, that can be uh, held on that energy level. So instead of having to memorize all the, the um, uh, maximum occupancy electrons that can be held, we can go ahead and know a formula called the valence formula. And the formula is 2n squared. All right, so this formula here, you guys, is 2n squared. So the way that you would write it out, it'd be 2 is a constant number times the number of the valence squared. Okay, so the, the number of the valence squared. So 2 is a constant number, so it's always going to be there as part of the, the mathematical formula. So two times the number squared. So if K is number one, it's gonna be times one squared. All right, you see that? So ta two times the number of the band squared. So two times one squared. So one times one is one times two. The first energy level can hold up to two electrons. Okay, you guys with me so far? Now let's do the second one. So this is the K shell. Let's do L. All right, so L is the second energy level. So two is a constant, we said, right? So two times the number of the valence squared. So that's the second number. So that's gonna be two squared. So two times two is four times two is eight. So the L shell can hold up to eight electrons. Now you guys remember the rule of octet, right? Right, it's happiest, state of inertia, right? It's chill, it's nice and calm. They like to have eight electrons, right? So again, that's the rule of octet, all right? So let's go to the third energy level. So you're gonna have two times three squared. So again, the number of the valence squared. So if you just know that K is the first one and seven is Q, right? That's gonna be the seventh one. You can just plug these numbers in. Don't make it overcomplicated, okay? So three times three is nine. I'm not busting out my calculator for this one, you guys. So nine times two is 18. And that's going to be M. Okay. So I'm going to let you guys figure out N. Okay. So two times, two times what? It's going to be, it's going to be four. 
squared. All right, so two times the number of n squared, so 16 times two is 32, and that's n. And then we got O, put O right there, so two times five squared, so five times five is 25, and then 25 times two is 50. We got P and we got Q. We got two more to go. So six, we will do two times six squared. So six times six is 36 times two is 72, all right? And then we got the last one here. We got Q, that's seven. So two times seven squared. We got seven times seven is 49 times two is 98, correct? Okay, 98. So this is your valence formula. So instead of having to memorize this, I get students a lot of times, Mr. can I just memorize them? I'm like, go right ahead. But hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna memorize them. I'm just gonna know the formula. I'm gonna know that there's seven energy levels that can be there. And I'm just gonna plug in the numbers. And if I have to do a little math, then I'll do a little math. But here is the valence formula. I'm hoping that this little short tutorial will help you guys. And again, just uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you. Hello, everyone, you guys. Thank you very much for watching the videos. I'm hoping that they're helping you out. Please make sure that you subscribe and that you hit the notification bell to be notified about new videos. Again, remember to be good to yourself and be good to others. Thank you.